What's up y'all, it's your girl Nona Mache and I am back with another video. And before we go too far into this video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can know the next time I post a video or go live. So, as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail of this video, this video is basically gonna be my first like filmed story time. Um, and I'm basically gonna tell you guys about the first time I tried cannabis. So, let's get into it. So, when I was about 19, um, I was hanging around some people who weren't the best. Um, and it was basically introduced to me through my boyfriend at the time and one of my ex-best friends at the time. Um, so, basically, I was in college. So, I just want to share my journey with you guys um, before I got to who I am today. And I'm not in no way, shape, or form ashamed of my past. I feel like I'm a very open person and an open book when it comes to the things that I've done and the decisions that I made back when I was younger um, due to the fact that I'm in such a different place in a headspace now. So, um, sharing this first time that I ever smoked story with you guys, um, I feel relieved kind of to get it out there and just kind of like let people know who I am um, and what has led me to become the person that I am today. So yeah, I was about 19 going on 20 and um, I don't know what made me come to this decision. Uh, today I just, I'm gonna just go ahead and smoke. Like, I'm gonna try it. Um, I have no idea what led me to that decision, honestly. Um, I just felt like it was just a change one day and I was just like, I'm gonna try it. Um, and I see my friends doing it all the time and I would always ask some questions like, how does it make you feel? What does it do to you? This is and that, like I just wanted to know about it. I was so like interested or I guess intrigued by this, you know, drug or whatever you wanna call it, um, that I wanted to ask questions, I wanted to know what their personal experience would what it was and it seemed like everybody had like a different experience but it kind of was all like the same um so i said let me try it so i go to my friend's house my ex-best friend at the time um no my ex-best friend now uh, i go to her house and i'm like shoot like let's let's smoke so she's like yeah i got you i got you um so she basically is like, okay, let's roll up. So she teach, she's showing me how to break it down and put it in a wrap and do all this other stuff and seal it and everything, right? The whole shebang. I know you guys know about all that. So she teaching me how to do that, and I'm sitting there watching. I'm just like, oh wow, it's cool. So I'm smelling it. I'm like, this is this. I feel like this is gonna be fun. You know what I mean? This is gonna be a cool thing, cool experience. Um, and I'm not really like thinking about how people always say like their first time. Some people had good experiences, some people had bad experiences. So I'm just like, um, at this point in my life, I had took so many like um, NyQuil's and Tylenol's and sinus medication, allergy medication for like um, anaphylactic shock and you know stuff like that and i had really really bad sinus at this time so i would literally be at in high school like taking the night quill the one you're supposed to take at night during the day like early in the morning i would take it because i literally could not breathe sometimes so i would have to fight my sleep and stay up the whole time that i was at school and this was in like high school so i'm like i'm used to taking you know stuff like this i'm thinking it's kind of like the same thing like it's just gonna make me like a little chill you know what i mean um not sleepy but it's gonna it's gonna make me like um real relaxed it's gonna help with my back pain <clears throat> and at this point like i had really bad nausea so i wouldn't even think about eating food until maybe 6 7 p.m in the day um and like i said i was in college like i was in school so my day started at around 7 a.m 
and ended maybe at three, four when I was in school. And um, I just wasn't hungry. Like, I could not eat. The thought of me putting food in my mouth made me want to, you know. And the smell of food, no. Um, eating it, I would literally be fighting the urge to like throw, even brush my teeth. Like, I would be brushing it and it would just be like, so I'm just like, okay. I need to do something about this nausea. I had tried the whole ginger thing. It wasn't really working. I started eating uh, ginger chews, like the real ginger chews, where it's like super hard, like, you know, dang there, take your tooth out. Um, I started eating those and everything. It minimized it for a short amount of time, but it was like I had to eat four or five, six of them in a day because every hour maybe the effects were already gone. So. I'm like, I can't take this. Um, I was going to the doctor back and forth for my back pain and just all kind of stuff. So I'm like, let me just smoke, you know, maybe it'll help me because my friend actually had really bad back pain. So she told me that it helps her with her back pain. So I'm like, okay, let's go ahead and try it. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna name her Nicole. Um, so Nicole is like, yeah, come through, da, 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 let's, let's do it. So I get there, she teaches me how to roll up. Um, she goes and she's smoking and she's telling me how to like smoke it and hold it and blow it out and all that. So she passes it to me and I try it. I'm like, okay, nothing. Try it again. And she's like, you're not even holding it. Like you gotta hold it. What's, what's wrong with you? Hold it, hold it. So I'm like, okay. So I go and I hold it. <clears throat> very bad decision. Very, very, very bad. At that point, I started choking so bad. I'm just coughing, 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 coughing. And the whole time, Nicole is like sitting over there rolling, like just laughing. And I'm like, help me, like, you know, pat my back or something like that. Like, I'm really over here choking. And she like, the more you cough, like, the more you're going to feel it. And so I'm like, help. Like, I'm trying to say, like, help me, help me. And the whole time, Nicole is just busting up laughing. And she like, just stop, like, just stop. And I'm like, I can't, like... And the whole time I'm just coughing, 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 coughing. So by the time I finish coughing, I now feel myself in my head going like, and I'm like, whoa, like what the heck? And I'm like, I don't like this feeling. So then um, she like, just sit down, calm down, like breathe, control yourself. Like you can control what's going on with you right now. If you panic, it's gonna make it worse. But if you just relax and like, let it do what it's gonna do, then you'll be fine. And so I'm like, okay. But at this point, I'm so like nervous because my mom don't know that I'm smoking. I'm at her house. Mom, I got my mom's car. So I'm like, crap, like I gotta drive a couple blocks to get home. How I'm gonna drive home if I'm feeling like this? You know what I mean? Like, it felt almost like I was drunk at that point. So I'm just like, whoa, like, I don't like this. I don't like this. So I'm telling her like, I'm getting hot. And she's like, just sit down, just sit down. So I sit down. I'm breathing and I'm just like, okay, you know, this is not bad. I'm starting to feel like, okay, you know, starting to relax, starting to feel the vibes. So, um, basically, um, at one point I noticed that I really wasn't breathing. Like I started thinking, I'm like, am I breathing? And I'm like, I'm not breathing. So I started feeling my heart be like, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo like out my chest you know what i mean so i'm like oh my god so i stopped like i'm like you know trying to slow my breathing down get a lot of oxygen because i'm like maybe my heart is beating fast because i'm breathing fast so i'm trying to slow down and you know catch my breath and so it felt like like i would just stop breathing at certain points like it was just like no air coming in or out like i was just not breathing and whenever that happened like i felt like my heart was not beating anymore so i'm over here like getting up doing jumping jacks i'm like <sighs> you know get on the floor i'm trying to do push-ups like I'm doing like the, um, what are those called? Like the uh, high legs, high steps, whatever they're called. And I'm hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. And so I'm like, girl, I feel like I'm not breathing. Like every time I stop, my heart be stopped. So she's like, Natalie is like, um, just chill. Like you need to stop. You're doing too much. You're doing too much. So I'm like, no, I'm not doing too much. You're not doing enough. Like help me, help me. So she like laughing at me still. And so I'm like, just come on so at the time i call my boyfriend and i tell him like what's going on 
and he's like J you just need to calm down like who with you and so i'm like nally with me and so he like you know oh i hear her laughing and so i'm just like bro like what do i do and so they both at that time started laughing at me but then my boyfriend's like just calm down calm down like you'll be fine um you got some you got a way to get home and so i'm like yeah i got my mom's car but i'm scared to drive it because i'm tripping out and so he like just chill out like how many times did you like puff it and so i'm like only like two three times like and he's like oh you should be fine like within 30 minutes um just sit down and chill and so i'm like okay so he like drink some water and just relax like you'll be fine and so i'm like okay sit down i'm like give me some water give me some water so she give me some water i'm drinking the water trying to relax so i'm trying to like get on my phone and do other stuff so i can like take my mind off of like what's going on because in this current time i'm like panicking um so that was not enough for me after that i'm still like feeling like my heart is not beating so at one point i don't even know how it happened but i'm like laying face on her floor and i'm just like looking around like what the heck is going on what the heck like how am I gonna get home? Like somebody call my mom. So I feel like I'm dying at this point. So now I'm just like, I'm like, call my mom, call my mom, call my mom. And she like, for what? Like you just, you doing too much. Like just sit down, relax. And I'm like, I can't, like my heart is not beating. My heart is not beating right now. And so she like, yes it is. So she like, let me feel. And so she feel it and she like, your heart is beating, feel it. And she put my hand on it. And I felt the beating with my hand, but in my body it felt like it was not beating and so i'm just like what the heck is going on um so she like sit down like literally she was like just lay down matter of fact just lay down because if you stand up it's going to intensify as well so i'm like oh my gosh why you didn't tell me that i'm over here doing jumping jacks and all these kind of exercise movements and all this kind of blah, blah, blah you know so she like just sit down sit down so i'm like okay so i'm just laying like looking up at her ceiling and then her her room in the back it had like some green like rasta lights or something like that um hanging on the doorway and so i'm just laying down looking at them and i'm just like oh my gosh i remember like this is this is the last time i'm gonna be seen alive like how am gonna how am i gonna tell this to my mom if i'm dead like how am i gonna tell my mom that i died trying to smoke weed so i'm like you know could just call my mom and tell her like I'll, I'll i'd rather her come over here and get me and me get in trouble than me die over here and she don't know why i died and y'all gotta explain to her why i died and i never get to tell her like this is why i died so in my head it, it, don't, it don't make sense but in my head it made perfect sense so i'm like call my mom right now call my mom so she like i'm not calling your mom like you need to sit down you need to sit down so um i go and i'm just like okay let me sit on the chair so i sit on the chair and i'm like okay let me breathe and i said can i get some fresh air so we go outside and um she like she's not laughing at me no more now she like concerned you know what i mean now she concerned and so I'm like, okay, like I, I just need some air. Like it just feel like I'm not getting enough oxygen. Like I don't know what's going on, but I just need to get some oxygen. So it was probably like a 20 minute span in between that and me actually smoking. And by the 20 minute mark, I had calmed down and I was chill. And so I'm like, okay, like this, this feels good. Like I'm feeling my back pain going. I don't feel like I have to throw up anymore. Like, okay is this what it's supposed to feel like and so i'm explaining to her how i feel and everything and she like yeah like you're supposed to just feel real chill or relaxed it's gonna take away any pains you got like you know you always you know not eating and you always nauseous and stuff like that like this gonna help you so i'm like okay i can feel it you know what i mean i felt my stomach like settling down and so i'm like man okay i like this and i said so how many times do i have to go through that experience for me to get to this point that i'm at now and she like it's uh, usually just like your first time like you don't it's not like a trial period where you have like three times and then you fine and i saw i'm like okay okay cool like okay let's try it again so we go back inside um you go back inside we just talk and talk and talk and we didn't even smoke again at this point we still had only smoked that one time and so she's she's over there smoking and stuff like that and so we just talking maybe like 30 minutes 45 minutes we just continue to talk um 
and she like you want to try again or you you good you know what i mean i'm not gonna press you to do anything you don't want to do so i'm like no i'm good like i'll try it again i'm just not gonna do all that holding stuff you was talking about and then you ain't even the good like you over here laughing at me and stuff like that and i'm going through a traumatic time like you need to be there for me you need to be holding my hand and so she's like all right like i'm sorry i promise i'm not gonna laugh or whatever so i'm like okay cool so try it again i i'm still coughing but not as much um i learned how to like you know tighten it up and like hold it um so i wouldn't be like just overdoing the overkill and so we smoke again um i didn't smoke a lot it took, it took like maybe two three puffs again and i'm just like okay i feel better this time like i feel i feel more content like i'm in control of what's going on because the first time i was like my heart is not beating every time i stop moving my heart stops beating like i need to get up i need to exercise maybe I need to pump some blood but i'm not trying to die in your house and then you gotta tell my mom and then she don't even got a way to get over here because i got her car so i'm just like thinking all kind of stuff so we chill for like another hour or so maybe uh or probably even longer than that i don't know um and yeah so i'm like i'm gonna wait till everything like die down and then i'm gonna drive home i only live three blocks from her house so i'm like i'm gonna wait till i'm calm and i'm in control like of what's going on and i feel like i'm physically and mentally capable of being able to drive and it was not even like i needed to be like oh on point it was literally like a back street um that had two stop signs so you got to my house or three stop signs so you got to my block um and then it was like 12 o'clock at night maybe almost one in the morning so um yeah so it wasn't like i needed to drive freeway or i needed to get on a main street it wasn't nothing like that it was literally three blocks from my house like so i go ahead i'm like spray me up like make sure i don't smell like weed because at this time my mom didn't know um that i smoke weed she knew my friends did it so sometimes when i would come home like she would be like i don't like the way your clothes smell like you smell like weed and i'm like well, mom like i'm not smoking that's you know my ex or my ex best friend like it's them you know what i mean and the people that are hanging around they all be smoking so she'll be like i don't like the way your clothes smell put your clothes over here put them in a different bag blah blah so i'm like spray me down so i don't smell like weed so she sprayed me she hit me from the back oh put it on the side i'm like okay my hair then i go home and she looking at me and i'm like boom, 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 my heart beating again and she like you okay and I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Um, she was like, okay. You know, and she had just open her door to see like me coming in and make sure I was all right, I guess. And closed the door, she went back and got in the bed and I went and um, I think I took a shower or something like that. And then that was it. And that was my first, first time I ever smoked. Um, definitely had a little, I guess you could say trip um, or a unique experience. I don't know, whatever you want to call it, however you want to jazz it up. Um, but definitely, um, that started my journey to being where I'm at today. So I want to kind of tell you guys stories that go in chronological order, order, um, for me starting to smoke, for me, you know, quitting my regular job to get a job in the cannabis industry, um, how much I was making when I first started versus how much I made when I got out. Like, I want to show you, I want to tell you guys everything, you know what I mean? Um, and so the next story time is going to be juicier because that's when I quit my job at Target and I went and got my first job in the cannabis industry. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Before you end this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay tuned when your girl goes live or posts another banger video. And thank you guys for enjoying my story time. Peace.